Bronx, Wikipedia article audio. The Bronx cocktail is essentially a perfect martini with orange juice added. It was ranked number three in the world's ten most famous cocktails in 1934, making it a very popular rival to the martini and the Manhattan. Today, it remains a popular choice in some markets, and was formerly designated as an official cocktail by the International Bartender Association. Like the Manhattan, the Bronx is one of five cocktails named for one of New York City's five boroughs, but is perhaps most closely related to the Queens, which substitutes pineapple for the Bronx's orange. As with several mixed drinks invented prior to Prohibition in the United States, more than one story is attributed to the creation of this cocktail. History Joseph S. Sormani Two sources credit Joseph S. Sormani as the person responsible for the drink. The original recipe has been greatly distorted in the course of years, but here is the original to guide you and to compare with the other recipes being used, four parts of gin, one part of orange juice and one part of Italian vermouth. Shake thoroughly in ice and serve. Sormani was credited with creating the drink in his New York Times obituary. According to Albert Stevens Crockett, historian of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, the inventor of the Bronx cocktail was Johnny Solon. Solon, a pre-prohibition bartender at the Manhattan Hotel, was popular as one of the best mixers behind its bar counter for most of the latter's history. This is Crockett's account of Solon's own story of the creation of the Bronx. Can't I? I replied. Johnny Solon. Well, I finished the duplex I was making, and a thought came to me. I poured into a mixing glass the equivalent of two jiggers of Gordon gin. Then I filled the jigger with orange juice so that it made one-third of orange juice and two-thirds of gin. Then into the mixture I put a dash each of Italian and French vermouth, shaking the thing up. I didn't taste it myself, but I poured it into a cocktail glass and handed it to Traversin and said, You are a pretty good judge. See what you think of that. Traversin tasted it. Then he swallowed it whole. By God, he said, you've really got something new. That will make a big hit. Make me another and I will take it back to that customer in the dining room. Bet you'll sell a lot of them. Have you got plenty of oranges? If you haven't, you better stock up, because I'm going to sell a lot of those cocktails during lunch. Bill W.S. First Remembered Drink The demand for Bronx cocktails started that day. Pretty soon we were using a whole case of oranges a day. And then several cases. The name? No, it wasn't really named directly after the borough or the river so-called. I had been at the Bronx Zoo a day or two before, and I saw of course, a lot of beasts I had never known. Customers used to tell me of the strange animals they saw after a lot of mixed drinks. So when Traversin said to me, as he started to take the drink into the customer, what'll I tell him is the name of this drink? I thought of those animals, and said, oh, you can tell him it is a Bronx. Solon would have created the cocktail sometime between 1899 and 1906 however, a prior reference to a Bronx cocktail on a New York hotel menu indicates that either the name was already in use or Solon was not the original inventor. Other Early Citations Bill W., the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous said that his first drink of alcohol that he could remember was the Bronx cocktail, given to him by a socialite at a party right during World War I. 
This was the beginning of his addiction to alcohol. Flavors It appears in William Cocktail Booth BS 1908 book The World's Drinks and How to Mix Them as Bronx Cocktail, a la Billy Malloy, Pittsburgh, PA. One third Plymouth Gin, one third French Vermouth and one third Italian Vermouth flavored with two dashes of orange bitters, about a bar spoonful of orange juice and a squeeze of orange peel. Serve very cold. Harry Craddock in the Savoy Cocktail Book mentions three recipes from the Bronx. The Bronx Cocktail is mentioned in the 1934 film The Thin Man by Nick Charles. In the film, Nick Charles states that the Bronx should be shaken to two-step time. The Bronx is flavorful and mildly sweet fruity drink, without being uninteresting or sticky. Though possibly inspired by the duplex, the two drinks are not really similar at all. Cocktail columnists Gary Reagan and Marty Hayden Reagan describe it as a drink wherein is the base ingredient, orange juice is the mixer, and sweet and dry vermouths are added almost as an afterthought.